The possible return of Amtrak to northeastern Pennsylvania is picking up steam. After decades of rumors around the passenger rail service, state lawmakers say there is finally a light at the end of a very long tunnel. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin joins us live from downtown Scranton at the site of the proposed future stop for Amtrak in the Electric City. Jack. Scott, this area around me here in downtown Scranton would be one of the several stops for this proposed Amtrak project that, according to railroad officials as well as local leaders, would bring a boost to tourism in the local communities as well as make an easier travel day for commuters. Now, one of the areas that will have a featured stop along this proposed route is in Mount Pocono. Now, we spoke with commuters there earlier today who said they are split on whether or not rail service should be back. A recent push by federal and state lawmakers to bring Amtrak back to northeastern Pennsylvania has seen the once rumored topic gain some major traction. A two-year analysis by the rail service company and the Pennsylvania Northeast Regional Railroad Authority shows an $84 million increase in economic activity between tourism and the local economy, reducing traffic on major interstates and highways, and offering an alternative means of transportation for commuters. State Representative Kyle Mullen says this is the biggest push to bring Amtrak back to the area in years. It will be the largest economic development opportunity perhaps uh, in a generation or two. This is not just, uh, we're not just talking about uh, a benefit to the city of Scranton, but to the entire Northeast Pennsylvania region. The total trip from Scranton to New York, according to the analysis, would be two hours and 50 minutes. This includes a stop in the borough of Mount Pocono. Residents we spoke with say they're on either side of the fence when it comes to having it run through their area. If I wanted to um, all that, I would have stayed in Brooklyn. I mean, it's taken away from the great Pocono. It's beautiful out here. I think it'll be beneficial for the whole area in general. I do real estate, so it'll definitely benefit me with the people moving up from in and out, easy commutes back and forth. Edward Enriquez, who moved to the Poconos after retiring from law enforcement in New York City, says he's worried about the people who would use Amtrak for the wrong reasons. It's good, but the commute it's what concerns me sometimes because it's easy to come and go. Right now you need a vehicle to get out of here, so you know what I mean? You put out an APB on a vehicle, you can find something, but I think it's safer right now the way it is. Representative Mullins tells Newswatch 16 that the Amtrak project is moving forward and that more information is expected to be released in the next coming days. Jack Culkin at Newswatch 16, live in downtown Scranton. Jack, thanks very much. The Amtrak study aims to have three round trips a day from Scranton and the Poconos to New York. Now, under the plan, the first trip would leave Scranton daily at 7 a.m. There would be two stops in the Poconos, Mount Pocono at 738, East Stroudsburg at 801. The train would then make three stops in New Jersey before arriving in Newark at 935, finally Manhattan by 953. Coming home, the final train of the day would leave New York at 8.10 and arrive in Scranton just after 11 o'clock.